Aloha and welcome to August Super Moon. Well, this is going to be the last Super Moon for this year. And especially in August, there's just so much great energy that tonight I decided to do it right here in my dojo. So whew, it's a lot of energy that's really pouncing into the earth. Why? It's because whenever we see and feel this energy coming in strong, we sometimes going to be feeling dizzy, nauseated, and feeling unbalanced because the super moon means that it's very close to the earth. And when that happens, you see certain things that's going to start to move like water, like fire, like so many of these elements that's coming together because they're not getting enough balance because all of a sudden it's like, you know, especially in August because the energy is up high and really. So I thought with the energy of fire, I might as well use that energy in this room and so whew, you will get dehydrated because there is all different kind of energy that is moving around so really take the time to breathe okay because there is like back to back to back things are coming in like torpedo whether it's Mother Nature doing her thing, or whether the outer world where we see things happening with politics, with people. If you have not seen it, a lot of these famous people are passing away and rest in peace. It's because, like I mentioned, a lot of these things are coming towards a different karmic twist and we all have this thing within us whether it's good bad or the ugly truth things are going to start to unveil and especially during you know political times people it's going to start to dig out things to just really get the momentum going on certain people that they want to attack. So that's why I'm saying staying focused is so important because if we're going to miss this opportunity where there is such a great abundance of prosperity, we need to take the time and focus on that. Like I took the time, I forgot, totally forgot about me and my hair, you know, and so it's been a while. So I just said, cut it up and you probably can't see it, but I made it into like a mocha um, caramel twist to it. So I like it and it got rid of a whole bunch of dead hair. And so these are the kind of things that what the full moon does is to let go of things that no longer serves you, like these dead ends or these colors that you really want to try out and see if you might like it or not like it. Why not? Because life is really taking that time and giving you that full circle of eight. And when the line portals open, there's going to be, like I said, a gush of heat, a gush of fire to let you enter into it and of course with fire you have to calm the monkey mind down with water so we had that water gushing through to open up the path I think about a month ago in the beginning floods of things that's happening and then we have a gush of fire that's coming in heat and then it's going to start to bring in a lot of these things that we really need to start to recognize is the earth. And by really grasping all of these things, these elements, and breathe that air into you, 
you feel a lot balanced because August and all the way up to October, you're going to be seeing so much chaos and drama, whether it's going to be taking off that list, whatever, with the CDC, taking off the mandates and getting it a little bit lighter. And then on the other spectrum, you have people with monkeypox. You have people that's getting kicked off of airlines because of they think they have monkeypox, but she just had eczema. Did you see that? I, oh, that poor girl. Oh, I was just feeling for her. And I was like, God, I wish you can use my medical microbubble for your skin. And so these are the kind of things that human nature makes people rude. And that poor girl was not able to board the plane until she showed evidence that she really had eczema and that she broke out before the night before boarding on her flight. And, you know, these kind of things that happens, it really makes you think twice on how people look at you, right? And so it's really about looking from the inside out. And sometimes we can't help that we have some of these things that happen to us. Like that girl who had eczema problem and they thought she has monkey pot. So these will continue, like I said, back to back to back on all different kind of crises. And so one thing that I want to make sure you guys get prepared because we're talking about abundance and prosperity, prosperity, pers <laughs> my mouth gets so much filled with things that I get overwhelmed. So let's just get right into it. And it's about really changing Time to change your wallet. I mean, I've been trying to do this because this wallet, which is, I got a smaller version and I really like this wallet because it's handcraft and really nice and easy and compact. So one thing I always do is to really leave some things th that you don't even use, credit card things that if you have it in there, you might use it. Things that you don't no longer serve you it's time like these receipts that you need to clean out and go through your wallet. If And you have during the full moon and the new moon, you have three days before and three days afterwards. And by the seventh day, you need to say your gratitude and say thank you. But one thing about how to bring in the abundance into is really how you take care of your financial, your money thing. And so for me is I always make sure that I always put $108. I did this segment, I think last year in January. And it talks about why 108 works, right? Well, one plus eight is nine. And so that brings in more abundance into your wallet and, you know, put it in a place where you don't touch it. And it's more like your sacred um, money ways to bring in, bring it in. So that's what I always do. And it is a little, you know, people who knows know that it's a little secret that you keep to abundance the money that should come in. And so I hope everybody is doing your 369. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, I explain in details, um, especially in August, I did, I do a lot of videos and thank God July was the new moon. So July, the new moon, and then it followed through with um, the lion's gate. It all was follow through with, um, you know, this with some kind of advice. Last time I did an advice on, I forgot what it was, but um, this time I talk about how to do 369. 
And that's really, especially it's important now because if we did it last year or 2020, the timing is not there. And so it's all about timing and the numbers and how it all comes together and work for us. And so that's how 369 works. So if you haven't seen or want to know more about it, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and check that 369 method, and it'll go into details about that. Well, this month, like I said, it's really about how we really want to see things in our life. Because if we prepare and enter, you know, like in a space, for me, this is my space. I decided to create my space and not Facebook, but my space. When my space used to be so, so, you know, popular back in the days before all of this Facebook happened. And so that's what I'm trying to say is that bring yourself back to the days when really we didn't have to tell people and show people, look what I'm eating, look what I'm I'm wearing or look where I'm, you know, all of these things that all of a sudden now really becomes into a mental illness chaos sometimes because people are fighting to get the the last of the last or this or the this you know and so really really find yourself this month and really sit on the ground in a private place outdoor or if you don't have a place like that find a quiet room you know, you can even take a bath and you find that quietness. Find a place that you will feel just you alone. And this is very, very important because really when you close your eyes, you see a different image. You see a different image of what is troubling you what you want, what you want to manifest, what you really have that time where, you know, you seek deep into your inner soul. And so with all this chaos is happening, it's going to get more chaotic. So start doing it now, because once you find and seek deep inside you, you get to connect to your DNA, your ancestors or people that really was special in your life, such as your animals, your dogs, your cat, your rabbit, you know, even your parrot, because they come and really sometimes give you messages. And if we're too busy in our everyday life, keep on looking at the computer or doing other things, we forget those really peaceful moments of communication. Go out there, pick some flowers, get some flowers, and really decorate your abundance, your soul, you know? And light up a candle and just feel this energy. This energy is really about a spiritual path. It has nothing to do with what kind of religion you have. It has to do with really finding yourself. It's more like a self-care on how to do because we all need to find a little helping hand or a little helping tips like this where we feel that this is our little sacred secret that, you know, that we only know. Well, not everybody know I have this, but... I'm doing this because I want to share things that work for me and give me this clarity of calmness and freedom where I don't have to worry about a lot of things that people get scared of because fear never, ever exists unless you create it, right? Fear doesn't say, okay, let's, let's check on this and let's scare her or him by doing certain things that might kind of like get us creeped out. And 
sometimes people do get creeped out because a lot of times people are afraid to find out about themselves, what was in their past, what is going present and what is going in the future. But some people love it because it gives them that extra energy, that extra boost or that VIP pass to figure out a lot of things that sometimes we just need that extra helping hand, right? I mean, right now we have so many um, advice out there just by Googling, but sometimes Google have so many different choices. And so the choices that I choose to do is really picking out, you know, the spirits that comes from the four different direction, because, you know, we say sometimes the east is good for us, the south is good for us, the north is good for us, or even the west is good for us. So each of us have a certain direction, like you can't, in Japanese, they're, they're so superstitious about a lot of things, even the Chinese, where they, you know, they have the feng shui way of doing things. And, and so these are the things that maybe it's just part of their belief system, their culture. And even, even in every culture, there is some kind of superstitious about the direction of where you are going because directions is really finding that clarity and when i say clarity if you don't have any clarity what kind of direction you're going to go through right and so that's why it's so important that we find and considering calling the spirits from you know from different directions north east south and west and also the five elements, such as when we really need to feel grounded, when we really need to get our hands dirty by feeling the earth is one. Breathing the air is next. Feeling that fire, that heat, that, you know, passion of really getting things out of you, whether it's love, whether it's this toxin, whether it's, that's why I love to do detox because it cleans out everything of my body. And so things of fire, which fire really saying goodbye, it no longer serves you, you know? And that's why the full moon is we write and say things that we want to say goodbye and we bless it through the water and take it into the fire and we bless it and say thank you but it no longer serves me and so the full moon is a really like a time where it's the light if you want to see the brightest light you have to go through the darkest tunnel sometimes to appreciate the brightest light that we see in the full moon and so that's why Right now, I keep on saying about the fire, because if you don't see that fire, that heat, the things that we need to let go, because you need to, because it's going to become stagnant when the water flows through, because the water is cleansing you, right? So when you work out or when you talk too much, what do we do? We drink water or things to just cleanse it out. And so when we go through all of this, we really start to feel that the connection and, and last of all, the ether. And so any of these guys, or you can call it angels, so whatever you feel connected, some people, you know, want to go with the belief of guardian angels or have the belief of the Holy Spirit, you know, any kind or the power of wisdom of Buddha, it really up to you. That's why this is really the way I do it is a very broad spectrum because spirit and wellness it is a very broad spectrum because 
We need to do that for our whole entire soul. And in order for us to be connected to that, we need to speak to them out loud or really speak to them in their mind and to invite them to give you the strength and really start to support your healing. This is your healing moment. So craft it accordingly to your belief system and your preference. Okay. So you feel that whenever you feel somewhere where you need to just, instead of going for the sword and or the gun and violence and things like that, go within, find that calmness, find that inner peace, you know, or, and that's why I say that it's really nice to surround yourself like with flowers or a place of calmness. Plants are so good. Greenness of plants are really, really good. And so kind of look around you and really give you that flow of, of energy in that circle, you know, your movement, whether you're at your desk, whether you're at work, whether you're at home, kitchen, have that flow of energy moving around. And it's good to kind of tidy up things, wash things down, you know, blankets, things, pillows, things. You know, August is housekeeping time to really bring in because you're at a time where you got the great sun out there, you got the great wind blowing. You might as well, like for me, I, I use my my um laundry line out there to just get a good nice breeze to cleanse it out and that's the same thing when you place your palms together in front of your heart right in this form because you are trying to balance all of these energy your chakra that's aligning and so if you understand and how to align your body or your soul it becomes so much easier when things pass or going to pass away. You know, in life, we have to be prepared for many different kind of journey. And if we can live forever, great. But sometimes people life get shortened. And because it, it's not a time to be sorry. It's a time to forgive. It's a time for enlightenment. It's a time for joy. It's a time for being present. And whether it's your family member or whether it's your friend or whether it's someone that is so close and dear to you or far away, always keep them in your prayers because it's going to be okay. You know, sometimes people make the word passing or death or certain things that scare people. But if you really think of how you want to spend your life, your time, and your energy, then you are so prepared for your journey. And a spiritual journey is not just happen overnight. It takes time. It takes balance. It takes your mindset, you know. And once you get there, you feel this free flow of just this energy just flows to you. And it becomes this strength, this wave where you can just knock down people that no longer serve you. Whether they are your co-workers that irritate the beep out of you or your gossiping friends who has nothing else better to do but then to look for something. Or your, you know, the list goes on when there is anybody in the surrounding factor that once you understand and how to control, like I say, this, this water movement, this wave, then you can control what vibration, what frequency 
And what most of all, what energy that's going to start to enter into you because you don't, you cleanse yourself to come to this thus far, right? You detox yourself from a lot of things, whether you go through many different trials and tribulation in our life. And that's when the bad things, whether it's the death of our dog or whether it's the death of our parents or whether it's any kind of things. And when we go through those kind of things, like we just lost in court, you know, or we just lost the football game. And so all of these things has different emotion because emotions are the most hardest feeling to escape from because at one time or another, we need to face it, whether it's facing the good, the bad, or the ugly truth. We always have to look in the mirror. That's why this room is filled with mirror, is to give you no choice but then to just figure out what is needed within you. It's like, oh, God. I need to clean out my wallet. I need to do this. I need to do that. But when you come in face to face with the mirror, it's not about complaining because if that's all you can do is look at yourself and complain about certain things, you know what? Do it on your memo book. Write it in your memo out loud because then you get to see and prepare that really you can remove and eliminate a lot of things in your life if you can just level up to get the things done and the first thing you know you do in the morning is really stay quiet and listen to yourself in the mirror you know when you brush your teeth listen that's when you start to figure out who, what, when, and why, and tackle the most difficult problems first, right? Because if you keep on letting it go and becomes it becomes stagnant, and then it becomes like mode, then it creeps up into from mode, it starts to hurt your inner immunity, your body, your strength. And so really don't always think that looking at yourself in the mirror, you find all these things that you've been really not facing. When are you going to face it? When you're 60, when you're 30, when you're 80, face it now and correct it. Because that's the best way so you guys can open up to a new chapter. Because chapter needs to have closure. And if you don't have a good closure, sometimes it will drag on to the next chapter. And it may not be there for you. It may not be the right thing for you because we all learn and grow you know and sometimes when we learn and grow and especially people who are too busy too much into their business overachievers i learned and i grew where all of those are very important things to be to have and to be gifted to, to be able to do that but at the same time, when you do too much, you get you lose yourself. You really lose yourself. And especially when that happens, you have to look at the mirror twice as hard. Because then that's when you start to see a lot of the crevices that hasn't been fulfilled. I'm not talking about the wrinkles. I'm not talking about the eyebrow hair that you need to pluck yeah you gotta do all of that thing but i'm talking about the your heart your soul 
and to speak to it and to listen to it and be silent. Because if we do that, you get to hear your heart crying and you get to take the time to figure out why you're feeling this way. And you can go and seek in to really mend it and meditate it. Because that's the only way to find a healing space within yourself. How long does it take to do that? You're the judge to it. And so really this month is a time to wind down yourself because there is so much things that is going to start to happen in the next, you know, four or five months. And you, and you turn around and you're like, oh, my God. You know, instead with your eyes, you know, just really just close it. Bring that pain, bring that fear and challenges of the of things that happen. You know, because the past few weeks in your mind and in your heart, you really need to take that breath of fresh air to infuse and bring in all these struggles with compassion. Compassion and really once you you bring it out, because no one's perfect. And if you find somebody who say they're perfect, well, then they have a problem. Because if we don't have these struggles and these things that we can't feel at the end of the day when we need to just put in a gratitude part of it to really shift gears and release, release that. Because if we don't, a lot of these things that you haven't really deeply acknowledged because part of spiritual growth is really acknowledging and that impact and that growth that you will receive by doing these lessons, simple lessons, because once your hand, right, and you exhale and breathe that fresh air through your mouth, Really visualizing blowing that energetic substance of hurt, pain, and welcoming new knowledge, love, and bliss. Because this is where your heart needs, whether you need to mend it, whether you need to cleanse it, whether you need to find more love into it. Because sometimes we get out of control and all that steam is just, you can't see it, right? When you have steam, you can't see that mirror. And when you can't see that mirror, you can't see that flow of the ocean from whatever you are feeling because you don't feel right. And so when you don't feel right or things doesn't go right, that really earth energy within yourself is not giving that space. And then that's how you start to get your legs, your arms, your 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 outer part of your body starts to cringe because the element within yourself, really that spiritual energy, is time to really cleanse and breathe. And when you open your eyes, you're going to start to see a different you, a different, healthier way of acknowledging yourself. And that's the greatest gift because, hey, don't you deserve it? So most of all, take this time in August to really feel connected because you deserve it. So it's time for me to say aloha. Have a wonderful August, and I can't wait to see you later on this month for the new moon. 
So stay tuned because I'm getting beat beat with so many emails coming in and take care. Aloha and keep warm.